Hey guys, it's Drew the Collegeologist, and today I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the TCAT Elizabethan application. It's a super simple application. Feel free to apply alongside me. Uh, it, it, it's really easy. So what I just do, I just Google the TCAT Elizabethan. I Google TCAT Elizabethan, and you just go to the homepage. And here's the homepage. You just go right here to uh, Future Students, and then you click Admissions. And when you get to Admissions, scroll down a little bit. You're going to click Apply Now right here. All right, so to get into the actual application, you have to make an account. So you're going to click first time user account creation. This is your account creation thing. Um, you're going to make up a login ID. This is a, a username. You can do whatever you want. And then a PIN, that's your six digit birthday. So uh, if you're born today, it'd be 110803 or whenever your birthday is. All right, and you once you log in, you are a new college applicant. Sometimes there's a, there's a glitch right here, so you might need to create your account several times before it lets you in. But once you see this, that you know that your account has been created, you're going to click New College Applicant and continue. Admission term, it's going to be the bottom option, Fall 21, and then you put in your name. All right, and once you have that filled out, you click Fill Out Application, and you are in. You're going to click at the top left where it says Name. Click that little icon. It's already going to be filled out, so go ahead and just click Continue through that. And then you'll put in uh, all this information. And then make sure to do a personal email, not your school email, but a personal email. And then gender and citizenship. You're probably a US citizen. And then you just fill out all these demographics right here. And then you're gonna click continue. And then you put in your address. When you get to this county section, um, please note they have every single county in the nation listed, so like it'll pop up as Alaska. You'll need to find Tennessee first and then find the county that you're in. So make sure you go find Tennessee right here and then the county. And then your phone number, you put your area code in this first box and then put everything else in the second box and leave the third box empty. So just ignore this third box and then continue. You only do the second address if your permanent address is different than your mailing address. If it's the same address, you just do the first one, you can leave this one blank. And then program of study, you're gonna see your options right here. Uh, this is in the Elizabethan campus. There's also uh, one across the street and then one in Kingsport. Um, please choose whichever one you're interested in. If you wanna see a catalog, you can go back to the main page. When you're at the main page, you can click programs. And you can see what your options are. They have everything listed here and information about all these. So if you're interested in HVAC, you can just click this and I'll tell you stuff about it. So look through these, see which one you're most interested in, uh, and you can choose whichever one you, you, you find fits you the best. College code, you've never been to college before, so just ignore this. You're going to click continue. High school code, uh, if you don't know your code, you can just click this look up high school code and it will autofill all this information in. If you do know it, you can just put in whatever. All right, and this, uh, th these are your vaccinations. Go ahead and put A for both of these and continue. Selective service, this is the draft. So the, the first question is asking, have you registered for selective service? Selective service? If you're an 18 year old man, you have to do this. Uh, if you're not 18 yet, you're gonna put no. If you have uh, signed up for it, you'll put yes. Or if you're a lady or not required, you can click not required. So we're just gonna put no here. Then it's gonna ask, if you are not registered, is it because you are one of the following? So if, are you exempt? You put yes or no. If you're a boy, you'll put no. Are you currently incarcerated? You're probably not in jail, you're gonna put no. All right, then when you see all these check marks, you know your application is complete. Click application is complete. And then you need to agree to the terms. And you've applied to TCAT, and that's all there is to it. Please, uh, th this is just a word of, uh, of warning. At TCAT, there are wait lists for these programs. Uh, it's, it's awesome once you get into the program, but there's sometimes a wait list, and sometimes you can't start exactly when you want to. So I encourage you, if you're looking at TCAT, please also Northeast State, they have most of these programs as well. So go ahead and apply for Northeast State as well because they have most of these certi certification programs uh, and there's rarely a wait list. So if you happen to get waitlisted at TCAT, you always have a backup at Northeast State and you can get into there super easy. So please just keep that in mind. I would highly, highly encourage that. Thanks guys.